So I've been exploring some new ways to challenge my problem solving skills and I've stumbled across something pretty interesting. Now that brings us to today's sponsor by Brilliant. Brilliant is where you learn by doing with thousands of interactive lessons covering math, data analysis, programming, and even AI. It's not just about learning concepts, it's actually about applying them, which is something I always promote. One of the things I love about Brilliant is how effective their approach is. It's all hands-on, and it really makes you think. Instead of just watching videos, you get to play around with the concept yourself. And studies have shown that this type of learning is six times more effective than just watching lectures. Now, if you know me and my channel, that is something I try to promote a lot. Now, plus, you can learn on the go. The lessons are perfect for those quick bursts of learning whenever you've got a few minutes to spare right on your phone. Now, it's the opposite to mindless scrolling, which some of you might prefer. Instead of wasting time, you're leveling up your skills. Recently, I've been diving into their programming courses, and I've got to say, Brilliant makes it so easy to understand coding essentials from loops to conditionals. You start building programs from day one, and it's all super practical. Whether you're new or experienced, there's always something to learn. Now, that's something I always try to do myself. I know it's really hard to kind of be intermediate and then keep learning, but that is something that is really important. If you want to try some, everything Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days, head over to brilliant.org slash coding quests or click the link down in the description down below. You'll also get 20% off an annual premium subscription if you decide to continue. So start building your problem solving skills today. Now onto the video. All right, so in our game, all we have so far is a simple platformer with a player and a floor. Now what we want to do, our objective, is to display a high score. Now the way we can do this, by displaying things, you'd think, okay, the first thing I want to do is use the label. A label is something I can use to display text. So I can type in text, and you can see here it says text. Now there's a few other things we'll need though. One other thing we're going to need is something called a global script or something to hold our high score. We need our score to be stored somewhere as a variable. Now there's again many ways to do this, but one way I'm going to do this is store it inside of this script called game. And I'm going to make an int and say let's say it's 10 right now. Now if I go to my project settings, go to globals, we can go to our path, find that script, add it, and here is our global script now. Now the advantage to this is if I add a script to my game, or my, sorry, my label, we'll make it built in, create, we can now go to our ready function and say self.text is equal to game.score. Now this won't immediately work actually, because game.score is an integer. In fact, if I try this, in fact, actually it won't even let me try it. It, see, it tells us that the int cannot be assigned to a string. So to fix this, we can simply convert the integer to a string by saying str. Now if we hit play, you'll see we have nothing. Now why is that? Well, that's because we have a camera. Now, if I actually move this text down here, you'll see score. But that's probably not what we want. We probably want our score to show at the top left or somewhere on our screen at all times, no matter where I move. Now, how do we do that? Well, that's actually pretty easy too. All we need to do is use something called a canvas layer. We can add our label to the canvas layer. And now the canvas layer has become this blue lined screen here. Now, if I move my label maybe to the top right here, you can now see when I hit play, the score stays on the top no matter where I move. So there we go. Now, to make this a little nicer, we might want to add something like this where we can say score and then plus the actual score. When I hit play, you can see it says score with a 10. Now again, you can make it even a little nicer by adding a plus and then out of 10 or something. I don't know. Probably not because that's a total score, but something like that. That might make your score or total high score look a little prettier. And that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the sub button down below and I will see you guys later.